All right, guys, we're going to be putting the camso tracks on our uh, skid loader today. So these are where I park the tracks. Sorry for the, the tall grass and the weeds. I haven't had them on this season. Um, but I park them right there. And then I fold the sides over so they take much l less profile. That's why I like over here looks mode. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna go get the skid loader and drive in here. Um, they're directional, but they're facing this way. So I'll be coming in from the back. And uh, normally I do this with two people. We're gonna try doing it with one today and uh, see how it goes. So what I have found works the best is that you pull forward enough, and I've pulled forward too much, I believe, but you pull forward enough that you can start folding this. <coughs> where you can start folding that like that, okay? And so we're going to take, they give you a set of ratchet straps. What you do here with these ratchet straps. You kind of go through this. Okay. Hopefully you can get what we're, what we're after. Like so, see that? And then we gotta drive forward with that. What I'm gonna try to do is see if I can, like I said, I normally do this with two people and I have someone hold that, um, I have someone hold that uh, strap. But for today, I'm gonna see Okay, the idea is, is I'm gonna drive the machine forward, okay? That's gonna do the work for me of keeping that wrapped around that tire, okay? Once I get the ta that, um, I'm gonna move this to where this piece right here is about dead center. Once I do that, I'm gonna raise the boom, get out of the machine with the boom up, and I'm gonna fold that side the same direction, if that makes sense. We're only gonna, because we only got one ratchet strap, we're gonna do one side at a time. So I am in that other track, but I'm not gonna worry about that other track at this time.
So as you can see, that was kind of our way to just keep that wrapped around the tire. If you have a second person that can just hold tension on this uh, strap, then you don't have to worry quite so much, but for a one-man operation today, we're going to actually leave that. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take this. See what we're after here. Okay, let me show you this. Got this track set up to ratchet like that. Now, what I found is easier because we're not actually, the track's not all the way like up against the back there and up against there. I've actually found that it's easier to leave it in this position and drive back and forth about a foot. And then that will help kind of get the tires um, pushed up against the tracks. So I'm gonna do that now. trying to do there on the front side is I was trying to get that lip to attach I couldn't get it to, to fold properly again if you had a second person that could hold that but I just ended up running, running it backwards to get it close to this part here you do now is you've got let me see if I've got them in the truck we use a hammer these are the rods that hold these in you get a washer on each side and a lock nut and so it's got this shaft as a thread protector you put that on you drive it through so I'm gonna start driving
So we got that on. Now we're gonna take a washer and a nut. And we're gonna go put it on the back side of that and then we're gonna drop the strap. Sorry, the camera's getting real beat up by the sun and getting way hot. Um, so we've got that on there. I went ahead and tightened these down and uh, with a wrench or with a socket, um, we're gonna pull forward and get this kind of to the, rather than fight it, we're gonna get it to the middle. And I want this joint dead center so I can show you one other thing. In the center, we're going to go ahead and take that out. Okay. Now, it only looks tight because I haven't driven forward and backwards yet. But if I remember correctly, if you stick a board across this, you should have about an inch, an inch or two of deflection, which we're going to have. I've had these on all the time. It's the proper tension. It just might not look like it yet because I haven't driven forward and backwards, so they're not fully seated. They might look a little tight right there. But that is all there is to installing the Camso tracks. Also keep in mind that these are directional. So the V the kind of the, the V shapes face forward. So this is basically an arrow pointing this way. You want to make sure the tracks are on the correct way. I went ahead and did this side. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give you a better view of me pounding this in. got the beast back there are our camso over the tire tracks mounted on our caterpillar 262 skid loader we're using uh, as my other review said we're using uh, sks 732 uh, r4 tires you want an r4 tire for these tracks That's with the boom all the way down, so you can see the heel doesn't touch all the way. 
but that's okay. You can back drag with the front of the bucket. So that is our video of putting on the cam sew over the tire rubber tracks. So that concludes our video of installing the cam sew over the tire tracks. Uh, we've had these tracks for uh, probably two years now, hundreds and hundreds of hours on them. Um, they're still holding up fine. Uh, but this is how you install them. Uh, normally we install with two people, it's much easier. Uh, you just have someone hold that back strap as you're driving forward, as opposed to trying to hook it onto something. But it can be done with one person. It probably took us an hour, hour and 15 minutes to install both sides. Uh, so not a crazy uh, situation. Definitely not something you'd want to do on a 95 degree day like today. But uh, it can be done and it can be done with one person. So uh, if you like the Camso system, uh, definitely make sure to check out our other CAMSO videos. We've got three or four other videos um, on the CAMSO over the tire uh, rubber tracks. So make sure you definitely check those out as well. If you like the video or like the channel, make sure you uh, give us a like and a subscribe. And we'll continue bringing more videos of things during the farm. Thanks.